Elizabeth I was a rainbow of characteristics. She was cunning, she was vain, she was kind, she was very smart, and she was very manipulative. The daughter of Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn, Elizabeth was born on September 7, 1533. Elizabeth I's childhood was tumultuous after her father executed her mother. After her father and brother died, Elizabeth's older sister Mary took the throne. Mary's Catholic background and Elizabeth's Protestant background kind of created a situation where Mary just really couldn't trust Elizabeth. She threw her in the tower for a while and let her live there. Mary died in 1558, leaving Elizabeth Queen of England. Her father and her sister had created such turmoil between the Catholics and the Protestants, falling into and out of favor. People were now for sure what they should say that they believe in. Elizabeth carefully rewarded the Book of Common Prayer and said, if you're close enough to this, it's good for England. Elizabeth set the stage for the economy and the arts, particularly fashion and theater, to flourish. Because she's a female monarch, she knows that she can use her appearance in court to create a kind of loyalty and affection to her from the courtiers. Not only through appearing in fantastic outfits, but in being painted in fantastic outfits that symbolize her leadership of the state. In 1567, Elizabeth arrested her cousin, Mary Queen of Scots, for her alleged involvement in several assassination attempts and had her executed in 1587. Though Elizabeth's reign was solidified, at 34 years old, she had yet to marry and produce an heir. It's very clear that she didn't want to do what her sister had done, which was to marry a powerful European monarch who would regard himself as a co-ruler. It's also likely that she didn't want one of her own subjects to become her husband, which would give him a kind of power and authority over her. In 1588, Elizabeth's navy defeated the invading Spanish Armada, the most powerful force in Europe at the time. The King of Spain, who had thought that God was on his side and had told him to do this, thought, God does not favor me, I was wrong. That's Elizabeth's triumph, to really take the heart out of the King of Spain. Elizabeth I died on March 24, 1603, after ruling for 44 years. Her death and the succession of her cousin James I of England and Scotland would end the 117 years of the Tudor dynasty. Elizabeth I should be remembered, first of all, as a brilliant survivor. She had a lot of odds against her from the time of her birth onwards. Not only did she survive, she survived with great success. Mark Twain is now thought of as America's first celebrity because he was so good at capturing the public imagination and it became important to him to have a public image.